Okay, that was um, Jess Rotel and Sweet Dreams from uh, an album that's unavailable called My God. Delaney and Bonnie and Superstar. I'm sorry about the chocolate frap that was on the record, but we did, uh, Max broke it uh, after. I mean, she just broke it so that we won't be able to, to bum you out again if those scratches bummed you out. If your your name is Alan Watts or Baba Ramdas, then the scratches didn't bum you out. But they bum me out. Okay, the uh, the the red light is just flashed on and off. That means um, we have a call on the uh, super line, so I'll have to take that and find out what it is. Captain Squid uh, usually calls about this time. Let's find out what's going on. Hello. Hello, Carol. Hello. Yeah. Who's this? This is Captain Squid. Far out. How are you? Fine. And you? Far out. Listen, I just come back from New Zealand. But I just talked to you. You were in Montreal last night. I wasn't here yesterday. Where were you? I was in New Zealand. When did you leave? I left Wednesday. How did you get there? I went by my flying ship. How long did it take? Oh, it didn't take long. About a half an hour. Does it cost anything? Hello? Hello, Charles? Yes? Is that you? Yeah. Listen. In New Zealand, I did something very new. What? I put my head in an oven, and they baked my brain. They put it at 412 degrees, and my brain started expanding, and it started overflowing all over the place. And they told me that when, when I put it on 650 here, when I get back, if I put my head in, into the oven and put it at 650, I'm going to melt the magnesium in my brain, and the mystery's going to be solved because my brain's going to explode. And then will you know the answer to everything? To everything. But there's one thing. When I do this, my brain starts growing at an immense speed. It, it, my head becomes like a cauliflower, but gigantic size. How big, Captain? As big as a giant cauliflower. Oh, my. Do you know something? What? Norman. Yes. How did he know that was you? How did he know that was you? <laughs> Do you have a video cabin? <laughs> what? Could you imagine using your video phone? You know, Captain Squid has one of the few video phones in North America, Captain, which he developed himself. Um, Captain, can you imagine when there's a video phone and you're just making a little uh, everyday call to, uh, say, to the pizza place, you know? And you can see the guys, and you can see what the pizzas look like and everything, or you just make a little call for reservations. How do you turn it off, Captain? I don't turn it off. I never turned it on. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for someone to, to do something that I can look at and enjoy. You know, listen, Norman. Yes. That's saxophone Joe. Yes. Saxophone, you don't know how to play a kazoo. <laughs> Captain, I play, sax I play the kazoo with one hand. Well, I play it with two. Okay, yeah, what were you saying, Captain? I'm saying I'm, I'm conducting an experiment. You want to drop in? Oh, what sort of experiment is it? I'm going to blow myself up. Into what? It's a secret, you see. Yeah? Is, it, is this classified? No. Does the Squid Squad send out documents to, uh, the, to the Boston area? Well, I could send some if you wanted. Sure, send some over. Over. 